So I'm going to move it on to the lightning round. We've invited a handful of faculty to share some of their work that they're doing in OER. And just a quick five minute, Rebel's going to keep them on task in under five minutes each. Um, just a quick snapshot of what they are going to be presenting in depth in the individual breakout sessions later today. So I'm going to bring up the first pair. We have Claire Miller, who's a full-time librarian and part-time instructor of developmental writing at South Florida State College. She's passionate about writing as a, a core life skill, develops library programming, delivers direct instruction, and works with students to develop informational literacy. In her spare time, she's an active crafter and a voracious reader. And with her is Jennifer Paquette, if I'm saying that right, uh, who teaches English composition, literature, and linguistics courses at Hillsborough Community College. Come on up and share with us what you're doing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm here to talk about why I went OER in my developmental writing course. And as you can see, the main reason was sticker shock. Um, I basically rage quit my textbook. Uh, overpriced, and then I went OER in a fit, and I wondered what I had done. But in the end, I completely changed the developmental writing program at my college. So in the beginning, I started with a book. It's actually a great book. It's a Pearson product. Uh, it's very focused on those remedial writing skills, paragraph patterns, tons of grammar, exercises, example essay topics, very well developed. However, the online writing lab and I didn't get along. So after the first term, I was, I was done with the online writing lab. And I teach in what's called flipped classrooms. Anybody familiar with that idea? Oh, good. I don't have to explain it. So, yeah, I do the lectures online on little videos, and the classroom is all active learning exercises. 100% of the time, we are working hands on in class to master those basic writing skills. So, at first, all was well. Right? I mean, it was kind of an expensive textbook with the online lab, but then I was like, hey, never mind, on the online lab. So then the textbook went up in price, and then the textbook went up in price, and then I went all on fire. <laughs> uh, it's an eight week course, right? Under Senate Bill 1740, we had to switch developmental writing over to the compressed format, eight weeks for $129. And I couldn't ask my students to do that anymore. But really, what were my other options? I could go to another traditional textbook, and I, I looked at maybe 20 or 30 of them. Didn't like any of them as much as I liked McPherson. And I started looking for OER. I was a huge proponent of OER, but there wasn't a lot for developmental writing. I looked in 2015, 2016, 2017, and I was about to the point where I was going to write my own textbook, and my partner put her foot down and said, absolutely not. Okay, so if I can't write my own textbook, I think the OER was on the last year. That's the back of my head last year in the anonymous room. But here I was, and I got really stubborn. And every single presenter that got up there, I got more and more stubborn. So in grace, I was on my phone going through all the OER repositories saying, I'm going to find myself a textbook. Hey, look, I found a textbook. It was published one month before the OER summit last year. Early adopter right here. So it's, I started with the textbook, um, but what happened was it entirely changed my pedagogy. So what I gave up was the workbook aspect of the text. My new textbook has a tiny exercise section at the end of each chapter, but the pages and pages and pages of worksheets that my students got in the old textbook were gone. And that was, that was a huge loss for me. I lost the suggested topics. I lost the assignment guidelines. Like the old textbook had everything. It's really plug and play. And I lost the online writing lab. But you guys know where I talked about that in the first place. So in order to really go OER, I had to completely revamp the entire writing assignment progression, which actually led me towards this open pedagogy concept of reusable assignment stuff that's actually applicable that my students could see themselves doing. I had to re-record every single one of my lecture videos. I had to develop all my own worksheets and activities. 
and I questioned my life choices a lot. <laughs> I was about a week ahead of my students for most of the term that I'm in OER. So the first term of OER, as you can see up here, was a little miserable, I will not lie. Uh, but the second term, I've been doing this for a full year, was a breeze. It was just like being back in the second term of teaching any course. So I guess for me, OER was really a chance to re-examine what I was doing, shift to it in pedagogy, and save my students a ton of money in the process. Thank you all very much. Yeah, we created a textbook. It was a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. If you want to hear more, come on. 